Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Ecovacs DBOT 500. Um, this is kind of the new 2020 model for Ecovacs and I hadn't seen too many reviews on it so I thought I'd just kind of give you guys my two cents just kind of based off my experience and let you know what I thought about it. Should mention real quick too, uh, I actually found a pretty good deal on this. I'll put a link below in the description so you can check that out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. So the 500 model is the replacement to the very, very popular 79S model, which is last year's model. So what have they changed? What have they made different? And what's the deal with this new one? For one, one of the biggest changes, and I think for the better, is the app and its smart capabilities. It now works with both uh, Alexa and Google Assistant and they've greatly improved the functionality of the app itself. It's just a cleaner interface, it's easier to use, and just all around works better. They've upped the uh, sensor capabilities on it as well. It doesn't smash into things just mindlessly like the old model did. It can sense like it's gonna run into something and it slows down before it does. It doesn't sound like that's a big deal, but it's, it's easier on the motor itself when it doesn't do that. But it also, and this sounds weird, but it doesn't make as much noise. Uh, with the old model, you'd hear it just banging into things all the time, which got pretty annoying after a while. This one doesn't do that at all, which is really nice. The vacuum itself and the motor on this one is quite a bit quieter than the old one too. Now, this is a random navigation uh, cleaner, but it does work really good. It has a pretty good cleaning algorithm. It'll go random mode for a while, and then it'll do edge cleaning mode for a while and kind of switch back and forth. Um, but it actually does work pretty good for cleaning uh, all areas. It doesn't miss many spots at all. And that's one thing you always have to consider is the price of this thing. Um, it's not automatic, but at the same time, it's not $500, $1,000. But for its price, it works really, really good. If you've never had a robot vacuum before, it's kind of one of them things that once you get, you can never live without again. Just not having to vacuum anymore is awesome. And before, I mean, I'm talking maybe two or three years ago, um, the cleaning power of these robot vacs were nothing of like what they are today. Uh, just to give you an idea, I'm coming from my, my vacuum cleaner was a Dyson before this. And this thing sucks and cleans as good, if not better, than my Dyson Animal. So they've really, I think it's battery technology that's really done this, but the vacuum motors inside these things are no joke. They really do clean well. It is to the point where you do not have to vacuum your house anymore. Before in the past, they were kind of good for cleaning up bigger things or pet hair, but not really vacuuming dust and debris out of carpets. But now they can really do that, and they do it very well and effectively as well. But yeah, I highly recommend this. Uh, great, great little uh, robot vacuum. Works great, and with the new features on the 500 model, it's kind of a no-brainer. For the money, this is the best one out there, in my opinion. Anyway, if you have any more questions on it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Thank you.